Hi, my name is Pascal Lee. I'm a planetary scientist with the SETI Institute, and I work mostly on uh, Mars, uh, the moon, our moon, uh, the moons of Mars. And generally speaking, I'm interested in places where, where humans can go. Um, I do quite a bit of field work um, in uh, relatively exotic places, extreme environments. And uh, I think that when humans are able to go there, when we're able to, to set up a uh, shop in these locations, we really then are able to gain a real more thorough understanding of, of these places. So I'm very much in favor of us going back to the moon and setting up a base on the moon. I'm, I'm dreaming of us doing the same for Mars. Uh, I actually uh, spent a year of my life at uh, a station in Antarctica a few years ago. And this was a life-changing experience for me. And I, I felt that by being able to do that, I, I gained a much better understanding of, of Antarctica as a continent and as a place we should uh, you know, study and, and protect. Uh, and for the past 25 years, uh, we've set up um, this research base on Devon Island in the Arctic, where I go every summer uh, with my colleagues, uh, my dog, and where we study one of the most Mars-like places on Earth. And there too, we've, we've set up a, a base, a research station, which is what I think we should be doing both on the moon and Mars. Uh, so right now, NASA is um, planning to set up a base at some point on the moon, probably near the South Pole, but that location is still um, not uh, fully determined. And also other nations are interested in setting up a base on the moon. So for this month's uh, Art Imaginarium uh, challenge, uh, I'd like to uh, suggest that we uh, all put our minds together and, and try to dream up what uh, a human presence on these worlds would look like. Uh, what would a base on the moon look like? What would uh, a base on Mars look like? What could a base in space uh, look like? And so you are not bound to any specific uh, a location in the solar system. In fact, you're not even bound to the solar system. Uh, and the idea is to imagine how humanity can establish a foothold on, on these other worlds and, and in space in the future. So I uh, hope you accept this challenge. I myself dabble a little bit in, in uh, space art, so I will uh, not compete, so to speak, in this challenge, but I'm very much excited about what you might come up with. And feel free, of course, to, to produce uh, abstract art or uh, things that you feel are more uh, realistic or sci-fi-ish. Uh, it's all good, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thank you.